stay in the in this world. All right, how many times have I seen this women's two? I know I've only seen it like twice with this group with Mboma and Jackson with Mboma coming back and catching Jackson. But when it was developing, it was so predictable that I feel like I had seen it eight or 10 times this year. It just felt like, was there any doubt in your mind what was going to happen with about 90 meters to go? No. I mean, there was no doubt in my mind after the first like 20 meters because you saw obviously – and Boma does not have a good start. She needs like mm-hmm. 80 meters before she can get to like her elite talent and then runs yeah. that final 120 out of this world. And you talk about, we've seen this so many times. Yes, we've seen the Mboma Jackson show and they're also running the same similar marks, right? They're running 21, yeah. eight, 21, seven highs. I think they're going to be racing again in uh, Zagreb live on flow yeah. next week. So this is even the last time we're going to see these two face off. Now this probably had the most like stakes because obviously Diamond League, get the Diamond League mm-hmm. trophy, which is a weird shaped trophy. I'm not going to lie. The Diamond League trophy looks kind of weird. Uh, and, you know, I think we have yet to, I, we have to remember, Christine Mboma, she's so new to this 200. She's young, right? She's born in 2003. Uh, mm-hmm. She has broken the world junior record five times, which is incredible. Uh, just looking at yeah. that, that screenshot right there of the, the new list of all-time world junior marks. And then not to mm-hmm. mention, I guess she tied it. So she broke it or tied it six times because she tied Allison mm-hmm. Felix with that 22-11 back in, I guess, at the Olympics in like a prelim, in the, heat, in the heats, the heats of our the Olympics. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about her. Obviously, there are people who we've talked about this with Nian Saba. The, she's a DSD athlete. She made her big uh, moment on the track with her 400 performance where she ran an incredible fast 400. Then she was banned from the four, now in the two, and now she is dominating the two. But mm-hmm. she isn't truly dominating, right? Because she isn't. she's beating Sharika Jackson. She's not beating... Elaine Thompson, her Elaine Thompson, or right, or Shelly Ann Fraser Price at her best. Uh, obviously, she beat her at the Olympics, but you know what I mean, like consistently. Mm-hmm. Consistently. So, I really want to see more Mboma versus Elaine Thompson or to see if she gets a few more shots at Elaine Thompson that her marks of being a twenty-one eight, twenty-one seven woman. All of a sudden, she's like, I can, I can get to 21.6. I can get to 21.5. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that's it seems like a stretch getting down to 21.5 just because of how fast it is historically. But yeah, not this uh, year. We had the graphic up there of just how many times she's broken that world junior record. She was one of the few people to, to set a PR today. There were some quick marks, but most people put their faster times out earlier in the year. But 21. 78 she improved on her her previous best time from the olympics and not a lot of people running faster on this track than they were in in tokyo her and jackson and basically her and anybody it's just a, key, a complete contrast in styles i guess shani miller Weibo would so, be somewhat similar because she comes on late in the 200 as well too but they finish in almost the exact same time or right around the same time but the way their races unfold, they're coming from complete opposite directions and they just somehow land basically right around 2180, 2190 every single time. I'm interested in Jackson next year too, if she gets through the rounds in Eugene, what she can do. Because remember, she came down from the four to do this one, two thing. So I think she's got more there in the two as well. Yeah, for sure. I mean, She's almost just as new to this event as in Boma, right? Because she's been training her whole life as a quarter miler. Now, obviously, you've done a few twos during your training, and you still need that speed to be a, an elite 400 meter runner. But this is the first year she actually went all in of being a one two athlete, similar to how Fred Curley went all in on being mm-hmm. a one two athlete. And maybe, I mean, yeah, look at her. Her PB, I guess, was 2205 from yeah. 2018, but. That's a long time ago. So she hasn't forced her body to go to these types of speeds in three years. So this is kind of a rust buster year, and uh, she should be better 
in uh, 2022. Let's stay on the women's sprints. So let's go women's 400, and then we'll do the men's one, two, and four. How about that? Sure. Surprise. Is that what the, the comment people, the, the people in the chat want? I closed the chat because I thought my computer crashed because of all the compliments. So I, I shut it down.